Seven weeks ago, Alan and Wendy Steele boarded the Diamond Princess cruise ship for what they thought would be an incredible honeymoon around Asia. Well, their holiday turned into a bit of a horror story after the cruise was hit with coronavirus and Alan tested positive for the disease. But after a scary hospital stay and weeks in quarantine, the couple are finally back in the UK with the all clear and joining us now to tell their story. And welcome to both of you. God, what a time you have had. So this was meant to be the perfect honeymoon, the holiday of a lifetime. You flew to Japan on the 17th of January, you boarded the ship on the 20th. Luckily, and this is kind of the good bit, you'd managed to have the bulk of your holiday with no problems whatsoever. So up until that point, it was great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? yeah we're... Happy this time. And you'd never been on a cruise before, no. and it was everything you hoped it was going to be and more. Yeah, and like I said, you said, holiday of a lifetime. Did we you know, realise at that time it was going to be the holiday <laughs> of a lifetime? Yeah. Before, what were you packing? What sort of stuff were you taking? Oh, everything. I'm, I'm a girl. I'm a, you know, I love my dresses. Yeah. So yeah. We got six lugga big luggage. We paid the extra. We'd never done it before, so we thought, you wanted yeah, the whole dress experience. up every night, you know, for dinner and that kind of thing. And so the cruise had been what you'd hoped it would be? Oh, gosh, and more. It was, it was, we met some fantastic people from different countries, didn't we? Yes, and who definitely. are going to be lifelong friends now. Oh. Through, not before, uh, we'll say when we met them before on the cruise yeah. and then yeah. afterwards. And yeah. so at what point did you hear rumours that something was going on? <sighs> Based when we ran back Taiwan area, we were visiting Taiwan. Because mm. at that point in the week, they were checking us temperatures coming off the boat in the mm -hmm. As far as I'm aware, really, we should have been quarantined in Taiwan, but... It didn't happen for some reason. That didn't happen. Well, on the 3rd of February, the ship did go into quarantine, mm. finally. And I, the beginning situation is, obviously, it goes into quarantine. It's a bit scary. What you need at that time is information. And there wasn't an awful lot of information coming through to you. No, we, we, everything we learned was off the internet. Right. Mm. You know, you're going to go on, on the social media and girls and that. We were learning more off that. The ship wasn't telling us things because they weren't allowed to, because the right. Japanese government just weren't... Yeah, I was going to and say so a lot, of, yeah. a lot of these, uh, these ships um, mm -hmm. are actually at the beck and call of whatever port authority or government yeah. that yeah. happens to be at mm. the time. Well, once the ship docked, mm. they come under the, the Japanese authority then. The captain lost total control then. Yeah. No. Obviously, at that point, he's his ship and he's the captain... Whatever, but once he docked, that was it. He was mm. under their control. Then. So part of mm. the system in place there was that um, anybody with anything underlying or any health conditions, that they would be swabbed as a precautionary measure. Um, so, yes. Alan, you, you've got um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, so you were swabbed. Mm. Um, when were you told? Uh, uh, that was day or two before this come and swabbed us. And then it was about a day or two before you get the results. And the yeah. results so about three or four came days. back and said that you had positive. tested positive. Yes. So okay. at that moment, everything happens very quickly. Yeah, uh, of course. You're, uh, you're on the ship and then within 30 minutes you pack very quickly and you're, uh, you're off. Were you feeling OK? You didn't Absolutely feel anything fine. at all. I thought fiddle to fiddle. Yeah. <laughs> so, that, so you're in an ambulance, yeah. you're rushed off to, to hospital and, uh, and, you're, and you're put in isolation there. You said you felt like a bit like a leper. Yeah, well, they treat you like a yeah, leper, yeah, because there's... A, it just, it's just a virus that nobody obviously wanted every girl's now, but they were all in Hascam suits, every yeah. girl's. Yeah, was... How did you feel seeing him go? <laughs> uh, it was um, it was hard, but I understood why they wouldn't take me, but I demanded that they would actually uh, swab me right there, right then, because we'd been in quite... Uh, you know, once he got the results, yeah. he had half an hour to pack and whatever. So I wanted to be swabbed right there, and they didn't. Mm. So I did sort of, like... I did stamp my, my little pony feet a little bit because uh, it just made sense because if I tested positive as well, yeah. then we could be in the same Japanese hospital together. Be together at least. So. And so you're sitting there not really knowing what's going on. It's uh, all a bit frightening. You're in the middle of nowhere. You're meant to be on honeymoon and now yeah. you're alone. So mm. for the first few nights, obviously a bit sleepless, just the worry and the fear. But then actually this sense of community on board switched yeah. you up and got you through those Yeah, days. I had to put my big girl pants on, name me Bridget Joneses, get <laughs> them up and... With the say with the people on board, uh, I had an ear infection. I was eighty five percent deaf as well, oh, so I couldn't hear the door knocking. If, if there was food outside, because that's what the staff had to do, just leave, leave the food outside. Right. Um, and yeah, so I had to have my mobile and you know the cabin phone. So. Yeah. So when you were in hospital, uh, you're retested and you had yeah. a number of tests. So what was the results of those tests? The uh, first test was a slight confusion because because the, they come back. And I said to them, am I negative? And they all nodded and I thought, oh, I'm OK. Then the sec they did the second test and they come back and they said, that was negative. So I thought, they told me if I get two negatives, 
I'm you clear, can I can go. So I said, OK, I can go now. And then he said, no, the first test was positive. So I thought, well, perhaps just like communication, because obviously the language barrier and all that. So I thought, OK, but now I've got a negative. So they did a third test and that come back positive again. So I said to the doctor, how can you get a negative and then a positive? And he said, there must be an error in the test, negative test. I said, well, couldn't there be an error in the positive tests? And he just looked to me blind. He says, you've got to wait now 48 hours before you start again. retesting again. And I said, no, that's wrong. I says, because I've had a negative and positive. I says, mm -hmm. I want to be tested again now. Um, we had a bit of a squabble and the girls. <laughs> I was I kicked the doctors out of my room. <laughs> I had a bit of a paddy then. And mm. um, they come back half an hour later after I calmed down and said, OK, you can have the test today. This was a, they gave me the test the Saturday, the Sunday and the Monday. Mm. But they never actually come back and told me the results of those tests until th Thursday they come back and said they were all negative and you can yeah, go. So, you can go. So then eventually you are off the ship, to cut a long story short, and, yeah. uh, and you're, you're off the ship, you finally managed to meet up, you finally get, managed to get back to the UK together, mm -hmm. and then you're back in quarantine again. Yep. Mm -hmm. For how long? Two Another weeks. two weeks. Another two weeks in, in, in quarantine? Yeah. In were you yeah. tested in, in quarantine? Yes. Yeah. 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 And? We had three tests, three negatives. Three yeah. negatives. You never had it, did you? I don't think, I don't feel I did any chaos and that, because I didn't have no symptoms, nothing. I, they just told me I got it. Yeah. yeah. But and I've never so, had no symptoms of it, so... So, I guess the situation is now, you, you come away from that, you, the NHS, have, you know, clean bill of health, off you go. How's the reaction been to you? Because people know who you are, because, you know, we've spoken to you, and yeah. do, do people worry about that you might still be carrying something? Um, also, we haven't sorry. had that much interaction with other people. Mm. The driver that we had from Arrow Park, uh, who took us um, back home, he was lovely and he actually was quite clued up on the situation. Yeah. Um, and he was asking about the same kind of reaction, whether, you know, how people are treating us. Um, but to be honest, we've only seen, like, little parts of the family yeah. Yeah. and coming down here and we had the driver. And... Well, one of our friends who yeah. left our past ten, so that's what we did, Mm. Uh, their drug taxi driver actually drove away and drove left off and left them. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Which we don't understand because obviously the, the, our taxi <sighs> driver, when he came to pick us up, he'd yeah. already been told where he was going. Where he was going, who he was picking up, even or anything. People so do very, very yeah. strange. Yeah. I mean, thank, thank goodness you got your honeymoon, the nice bit. Yeah. And then you know, some nice memories there. But now, oh, well. now you're back. Yeah. Now you're okay. And thankfully, you're you're both health-wise, you're both okay. Yeah. We're very lucky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.